Espionage by Green Day, fantastic little song. It sort of reminds me of James Bond, right? And the thing is, I don't know about you, but I actually hate to play scales or exercises. I'd much rather prefer to play songs. And this little song, actually a great exercise for your alternate picking and left hand legato. So great little thing to play. Let's get started. First, the notes. And for now, let's just start easy and play everything downwards, which by the way, is what they actually do on the record. Huh? Everything downwards, easy. Now make sure that you anchor down the palm of your right hand on the body of the guitar. You don't wanna play loose. <laughs> you need to feel the body of the guitar. Then it becomes immeasurably easier. After a couple of times, you play the same riff, but now starting on the A string. And the thing is, you need to be very sure there's no gap between the two. Starting on the E string. Now when you look at my fingers, notice there's this slight curve. Neither one of these fingers is stretched. You don't wanna have a completely stretched finger that creates way too much tension and it becomes way too hard. Always have this slight little curve when you play melodies like this. And that's basically almost the entire thing. Now, you wanna see if you can add that alternate picking. Now, you don't have to do this, like I said, on the record, they just play everything downwards. But I tend to prefer the alternate picking. And by the way, alternate picking simply means moving down and up. It sounds a bit more smooth. Everything down. Sounds a bit more smooth indeed. And the thing is, when you play everything downwards after a couple of minutes of doing it might get a little sore. On the other hand, alternate picking, you can do this practically indefinitely. So that's one advantage. Now, it might look easy, but the thing is, it has to be 100% consistently down and up and not somewhere in between two times down and then down and up, no, no. 100%, that can be a challenge. Okay, now the structure is four times on the E, two times on the A, and two times back on the E string, like this. time I don't actually finish the complete riff but I end on the third fret with the index finger. Why the index finger? Well so I can slide on up to the B chord. So that transition is like this. And once you get to this B chord we have a nice little sort of Spanish rhythm. And you move on up to the C chord, which also sounds a bit Spanish. And I especially love the end chord here.
beautiful song. It's actually quite simple if you would play everything downwards, but the real challenge is to do the alternate picking and see if you can have it 100% consistent. Now let's play the whole thing in a slow, medium tempo. You can find the tabs, of course, on my Patreon site. Grab your guitar, here we go. Mm -hmm. 